Want to hear the three things I hate the most about the summer? First of all, there's ticks. Second of all, there's mosquitoes. And third, there's poison ivy. Now, ticks and mosquitoes suck, but poison ivy just rubs me the wrong way. Now, they make bug spray that handles the first two well enough, but you can't get rid of poison ivy without getting in there and like spraying stuff on it or pulling it out. And if I get anywhere near it or touch anything that's touched it, I just, my eyes get itchy, everything just gets poison ivy. So why not use my three favorite things to get rid of that poison ivy problem, which would be doggos number one, puppers number two, and robotics number three. Can't be that hard. So first up was designing the chassis. Uh, it wasn't that hard, because it's basically the 3D modeling equivalent of drawing like a stick figure dog. It just has four legs, each with a shoulder and an elbow servo. At first I used 9 gram servos, which doesn't make a lot of sense because they can barely support their own weight, so they kind of just sat there and twitched. Uh, once I beefed those up though, I threw in places to put things like an Arduino for control, a battery for power, and then my idea was to have the robot spray weed killer onto the poison ivy to kill it. So I threw in a place for an aquarium pump and a reservoir to hold the weed killer. So next up was to figure out how to tell the Arduino to tell the servos to walk like a dog. So my first thought was to go watch some motion capture that they use on dogs to try and figure out how they move to animate them in video games and movies and stuff. But the problem is my dog design is very simple. It only has one degree of motion in the shoulder so it can only move back and forth really. Whereas, real dogs obviously sway and they shift their weight from one leg to the other, which my dog can't do. So the next idea was to take out some rubber mats and walk on all fours to try and figure out how I would walk on all fours. That was weird. That didn't help. So that brought me back to the same old boring answer of math. First I drew a line for the upper leg, and then lower leg, and then I did a bunch of trig on it, and it might be wrong, but it seems to work, so I'm okay with it. So with that math, I can basically tell my Arduino program where I want the foot in terms of H height and X distance, and it'll do the trig and figure out where the servos need to be pointing for that position to be achieved. So with the programming and math out of the way, I started printing the parts and assembling them with hot glue because screws would be just too stable. Next, I salvaged the components that I needed to make a simple circuit that could use a transistor and a relay to fire the aquarium pump and spray the weed killer. I mounted the IR receiver to the front of the robot with uh, hot glue, obviously, and then I finished up the wiring by connecting the servos to the Arduino board. Now, you might not want to hear this, but this is what professional cable management looks like. Next, I spread a little bit of hot glue on each foot for more traction. I set each leg to their zero position and then adjusted them so that they would be where they're supposed to be when the program ran. And finally, it's not much of a dog robot if it doesn't look at least a little bit like a dog, so there you go. It's ad adorable. It's... Ugh. The robot can lie down, it can stand up, it can adjust its height either up or down, and it can move at lightning speed either forwards, backwards, clockwise, or counterclockwise. And last but not least, it can... It's perfect for watering your plants. It's great for killing poison ivy with weed killer. But if I'm being honest, putting that robot as close to the poison ivy as I did made me itchy just thinking about it. And it's perfect for celebrating the 4th of July. But really, having a robot dog pee rubbing alcohol onto an open fire, nothing. But putting it next to poison ivy, knowing that I'll have to pick it up afterwards, no, that made me nervous. That makes sense. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I want to revisit this. I want to give it a shoulder that can move in more than one axis, and I want to give it accelerometers or something to balance. 
Um, and I also want to have it do something other than pee on Poison Ivy, so if you have any ideas for that, go ahead and leave those in the comments. And then subscribe to see if I can make it in less than two months this time. Ha <laughs> ha.